hello friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new here and today it is sunday so happy mother's day to all the mothers out there all the grandmothers all the aunties all the uh, dog mamas kitty mamas um you know fish whatever whatever type of animal you have or if you are raising your grandkids or your nieces your nephews someone else's kids if you're a step parent whatever you are if you're a plant mom happy mother's day to you all mm -hmm. so today um is actually in collaboration with a whole bunch of people um decided to throw together a mother's day open collab that way everybody can make things either their mother made um recipes their mother made or recipes that they love in their household or something tied into mother's day so i had big plans they didn't happen for what i was going to make so i'm just sharing with you some super easy delicious dinners so i hope you guys enjoy them don't forget to check out the group playlist when you get done and also this collaboration is co-hosted with my very dear friend jessica myros so i'm also going to link jess's channel down below so you can go check hers out too because we hold together a whole bunch of collaborations and i just love jess but let's go ahead and get started guys okay so this first recipe is really really good um first time i've ever made this it was actually out of the magnolia table cookbook volume two so all we're starting off is we are taking the saucepan we're taking seven tablespoons of butter and we're taking a half a cup of onion chopped up and then if you have celery you're supposed to put a half a cup of minced celery i didn't have that today and then you're going to put in a garlic clove but i always throw extra in and you're going to take a teaspoon of garlic salt and a teaspoon of regular salt and two tablespoons of flour i'm using the wheat flour i have and you're just going to let that like kind of cook together and then you're going to add in one and a half cups of heavy cream um, but i always sub out for um, half and half if i don't have heavy cream i'm just going to mix that together and then you're going to take a 13 by 9 inch pan just spray it out and you need about five cups of shredded chicken which i've already prepped this out in the instant pot because i like to prep chicken out just to have on hand now you're going to add in one cup of sour cream. I'm using what I had left in this container and you're going to spread it over the chicken. And this is such a, I don't want to say homey feeling kind of <laughs> meal, but I don't know what the word would be. Um, also, you're going to take a baguette. I guess that's how you say it. Um, and it equals out to about six cups. I just took one that was on sale at Aldi that week. Um, and you're just gonna tear that and put that all over that casserole. And then that sauce we just made on the stove, you were gonna pour that over top, that creamy sauce, all over top of the baguettes and the chicken mixture. And then we are going to drizzle about four tablespoons of melted butter over top of this. So it coats that bread real nice. And then we're gonna pour in the chicken broth, which is about two cups of chicken broth. And I know that seems like a lot of liquid to go in there, but it actually all just blends together really nice. And then we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes uncovered at 325. Okay guys, here is the Friendsgiving casserole. So, so good. This is such a unique new dish that I will make again because I took a bite of it and it's really good. Some instant pot mashed potatoes, so easy. I literally had 15 minutes to make them and it was already heated up so that's what I did and then I blended them with some parm cheese and some milk and some butter and some garlic salt and then this is a cranberry sauce because this is Friendsgiving casserole you can dip that together so good I love to have meals that are like Thanksgiving inspired when it's not like actual holiday there you go guys super cheap super easy Okay, my husband liked the title of this. It's called Husband's Delight Casserole. I actually found this on Pinterest and it looked nice. So we're taking a pound of ground beef, but you know me, I'm using turkey. You're gonna mix garlic salt with your turkey. And at the same time, you're also gonna cook about 12 ounces of egg noodles on the stove. Once your meat is cooked through, you're gonna add in a 24 ounce jar of marinara sauce. And then while all that is cooking in a separate bowl, we are going to take three ounces of cream cheese, and I always microwave mine a little bit. And you're gonna take a half of white onion chopped up and mix that with that cream cheese. And then we are going to take two cups of sour cream here and mix it into that mixture. And also don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 while this is all going on. So once we mix all that together in that bowl, we are going to take a 9 by 13 inch baking dish after our noodles are drained. 
We're gonna pour the noodles in the bottom of the pan. And then on top of the noodles, we are going to, oh, actually you're gonna arrange half of the noodles, not all of them. Then we're gonna arrange the meat mixture on top of that. And then we are going to put the sour cream mixture over top of the meat. And then we are going to put the remaining noodles on the very top of this. And of course you guys know, we're gonna to top it with cheese. And all you will do is bake this in the oven for about 25 minutes. And this was such a really unique casserole. Um, the whole family really enjoyed this one and I will definitely be adding this to my meal plan again because we are big with um, casseroles that have cheese in them. <laughs> Obviously, if you haven't seen my videos, I constantly have cheese or ground turkey in my recipes but no lactose intolerance here. So here is dinner. This is the husband's delight casserole and some oven garlic bread that I just made real quick with spray butter and garlic salt. And then I thought I had green beans, but I didn't. So hubby loves mushrooms, so that's his. And there you go. This is really unique. So I think everybody will like this recipe. Okay, this next recipe was incredible. This is a creamy beef onion and noodle casserole. All I'm doing is taking my saucepan, my pan, adding about two tablespoons of olive oil, taking about a pound of stew meat. I just picked this up from Aldi. I didn't pre-chop any of this. I'm just throwing that in there with about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. But you know me, I just eyeball it um, just because I love both of those seasonings, so I don't really care how much I put in there. And then you're gonna put some salt and pepper in just to add a little bit of taste. And once that is done and you've drained a little bit of that, you're gonna add in three cups of beef broth. And yes, I transferred it over to a um, bigger pan so I could hold all this. And then you're gonna take, um, you're supposed to take a 10 and a half ounce can of French onion soup. I didn't have that. So what I'm doing is taking one of those packets of the onion soup mix and this just turned out perfect. It didn't really matter. Then you're gonna take a half a cup of sour cream or non-fat Greek yogurt. You're gonna take fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. I always add a little extra in. You're gonna blend all of that together and you're gonna take one cup of French fried onions. And this all comes together like right on the stove. Um, it is so, so good. Like I don't have words for it. The whole family enjoyed it. I was looking at it like, there's no way that I would eat something like this. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it because I love the French fried onions. And it was absolutely incredible. It's easy to make and it's affordable and you don't have to do anything in the oven with this casserole. Um, you can serve it with some rolls, some salad or another vegetable, whatever your heart desires. But I would highly, highly recommend making it. Okay, this next recipe I got some dirty looks for. Um, <laughs> nobody was excited about this, but it ended up turning out really, really good. Um, you're gonna take a pound of Italian sausage. You guys know what's going on here. I've got a pound of turkey sausage. Um, I didn't read the instructions. I was supposed to use Italian sausage, but why not? I'll just add regular sausage um, or turkey with some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna throw all this in the Instant Pot. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it in the slow cooker or on the stove, but I was pressed on time, so I literally had to rush to make dinner before Ryan got home. Then you're gonna take um, 20 ounces of cheese tortellini. So that little pack was nine ounces and the other one was nine ounces of leftover raviolis I had. And then you're gonna take about eight ounces of cream cheese and just slice it up and put it in there. And then you are gonna take three cups of fresh spinach. So I just got all this stuff at Aldi. You're gonna pour that in there. And then you're gonna take four cups of chicken broth and this is all, I mean, this, this sounds really like odd or um, unappetizing to the children when they see all the spinach being poured into this and the concoction of sausage and spinach and uh, noodles, but it is really, really good. And even Ryan is not big on Italian food at all. He loved this. He said it was really, really surprisingly good. So here is dinner. This is the sausage tortellini soup. I did make it in the Instant Pot instead of making it in the crock pot, which basically you do the same thing. You just let it cook for like probably four hours on low or um, you'd have to brown the sausage first or like two hours on high or something like that. And then just serving it with, I'll have a vegetable. It's already got spinach in it. 
but I usually have like a salad or something. And then I've got some, just some bread and butter instead of making garlic bread tonight because we had that last night. So there you go, guys. Super easy. I know like the kids are like, why is there green stuff sticking out of that? I did get the colored tortellini and the directions called for 20, I think it's 20 ounces of tortellini. Only had nine ounces, so I added the raviolis that I had in the freezer. So I don't have to buy anything extra. So there you go. Okay guys, I also wanted to share this with you. I did share with you a while back. Um, I worked with Zimpf, the eye care company. Love them. I will never, um, unless it's like every two years and I get free glasses through my vision works where we live, um, cause we pay fortune in eye care and you really really only can get glasses every two years which is absolutely ridiculous and what they usually offer isn't even very fun for the affordable for like we have a limit of 130 dollars well they mark them up so high in the stores and have the name brands and all that that by the time it's all said and done for the very very basic of glasses i'm still having to pay like extra amount out of pocket for the lenses or something like that um the very very bare basic so i still have to pay 20 dollars out of my pocket with my insurance and that's only every two years so by that time being a mom and that's one pair of glasses i scratch them i put them down they stretch out everything so i don't know if you're in the same boat as me but this brand reached out to me before and i was hesitant to work with brands i get tons and tons of emails and i usually just delete a majority of them unless i really want to try something or unless i really stand behind it this is one of those brands that I am so excited about because I love this brand. I um, I was showing all kinds of people these glasses. These are from Zimp. These are what I wore before. And um, a lot of other people raved about them too. And these have the little clip on uh, piece uh, for sunglasses. A clip right on and right off your, sun, off your regular glasses. So you have stylish glasses and they have sunglasses. So love it. It comes in this really cute packaging. They sent me three pairs of glasses. Um, they let me pick out. So I was gonna try them. They come wrapped up with this cute little cloth, which really does work. Um, so I picked, they have the wide frames, they have, they have square, oval, cat eye, um, you name it. There's a whole bunch of crazy patterns. There's normal patterns. I mean, pretty much anything you're looking for and they're affordable as can be. I believe they sent me a code. I'll double check my email and if they did, it will be down below. Um, you guys can use that code if you're interested. But like I'm telling you, they hold up they are stylish and there's so much to choose from and they're cheap that's the biggest thing they're cheap but they're durable so i wish i would have found them a long time ago because all my kids had to get glasses this year but this is the pair i got i don't know if you can see that very good um but i love them i love the black stylish and these are super stretchy on the sides so they don't hurt they don't sit so i picked this pair out to be a little bit different since i wear black all the time <laughs> black or t-shirts or something that is one of the pairs and then like i said here's the little box and you can even pull like this white box off there and it has like a little box inside that's super cute but look comes the card you also get a card with a discount code in it for 30 more percent off your next order every single box had that in there they take care in wrapping them and they're very fast with shipping so i got this pair because i noticed like the clear ones are all popular where it doesn't look like you're wearing anything but i like a little bit of pink so Sorry if you see me looking to the side, that's because that's where my um, camera is. Uh, but I love these and they're comfy. They don't feel you have big, heavy, bulky glasses. They're stretchy. And then another thing I was really excited about, another sucky thing about um, my insurance is it will cover one pair of glasses and we have like Anthem. So it will, we pay all this money for it. It will cover one pair of glasses every two years. That doesn't include I mean that includes sunglasses so if you want to get sunglasses you're gonna to to pay an extra fee and most of them range in the hundred dollar thing and a whole bunch of extra fees so i've never i put off for years so i would look like a complete idiot on the beach because i would stack my sunglasses on top of my regular eyeglasses so i could still see everybody <laughs> out on the beach so in contacts um i have really dry eyes so i have a hard time with contacts they have to be a very specific brand and they are super pricey and my insurance basically once it's all said and done only covers six months so the other six months are very pricey and come out of my pocket so it's just not even worth fooling with um so i got this i'm super excited about this the other sunglasses they sent me a while back were the ones that clip on and off let me show you so these are my regular ones that i wear all the time from them they sent me a while back and or these everywhere because 
it's so easy. If I'm going in the store or going in somewhere, I can clip them on and off. I'd like to get a pair of these for every one of my glasses if they'd fit. But these are awesome. I mean, I show everybody those because I'm so um, impressed. But I actually ordered an actual pair of sunglasses from them that are prescription. Um, because this, like, look, I guess is all, like, stylish this year. I don't know. But I wanted my own specific pair of sunglasses because all the ones I own are not prescription. So... I thought those looked really cool it's like they have all kinds of styles designs you know i'm probably going to lean towards leopard or black or something but you guys go check out zimph they've got kids glasses men's women's they've got all kinds they're always having a sale and they're very 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 affordable so i had to share that with you guys because i'm always looking for a deal and i won't get glasses anywhere else now um because these are so 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 affordable and i honestly love this brand so guys go check it out um like i said it'll save you some money okay friends that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it gave you some super easy dinner ideas for the week um i'll be back again you know next weekend with a whole lot more recipes because i'm going to try to stick to the meal plan that i show you guys in my grocery hauls but i hope you have a fabulous day appreciate you all taking the time to watch i love you guys